Have you ever noticed that in order to learn something, you need to encounter something new and unexpected? Okay, now I get that sounds really simple and not very profound, but most often the truths that change our lives are the ones that at first glance seem the most unlikely or maybe even foolish. But here's the thing. Our brains have a tricky habit that we call confirmation bias. This means we tend to notice, to focus on, and give greater credibility to information that fits with what we already believe, and we dismiss anything that challenges those views. This bias is kind of like a filter that selects what we see in the world. It causes us to miss wisdom because it just doesn't fit neatly into our existing beliefs. Sometimes it can be difficult to learn new things, like when I learned how to do these short thoughts videos and how to use a, a camera to do these things well and to upload them and to train them or to edit them well and to do all of those things. It's not very easy and it took a quite a bit. And in order to learn, I had to admit to myself that I didn't know what I was doing. Then I had to seek out some information that was different from what I had thought from before and learn how to do it and hopefully learn how to get better at it along the way. Now, in general, confirmation bias can be really helpful. It's sort of a shortcut that helps us to function day to day without questioning every single thing that we encounter. After all, it's not helpful to constantly question every belief that we have. But it's also important to remember that this bias exists and can cause us to miss really important things. Now, I've been studying this book called Our Iceberg is Melting by John Cotter, and he says this. He says, all too often, people and organizations don't see the need for change. They don't correctly identify what to do or successfully make it happen or make it stick. Businesses don't, school systems don't, nations don't. And I would argue people don't. And often because we're not willing or able to see the information that we need in order to make the change or to learn. For example, you might hear a piece of advice or a perspective that doesn't currently align with your current understanding, and instead of considering it or even trying to think about what truth might be in it, you immediately dismiss it. Why? Because it challenges the way you see the world. But what if advice holds the key to deeper wisdom that you've been missing out on? This is the paradox of wisdom. It often asks us to step outside of our comfort zones, to see beyond our biases and to embrace truths that might not be obvious at first. It's not easy to do this, it takes humility, and it takes courage to admit that we don't have all the answers. It forces us to change our beliefs and opinions, or at least to hold them a little more lightly and a little less tightly. This happened with Jesus and all the people that were around him all the time. He kept breaking their expectations and they found it difficult to really accept what was going on. So how do we overcome confirmation bias? Well, one way is to actively seek out perspectives that differ from our own. Listen to voices that challenge you. Ask yourself, what if this person is seeing something that I'm not? And what might that thing that they're seeing be? Be willing to sit with the discomfort of not knowing everything. We often admit that we don't know everything, but there's times when we kind of act like we do. Or find something that maybe you don't understand and try to understand it. The confusion you will experience is intellectually humbling, kind of like when I was trying to figure out how to do all of this. But that humbling can help you to lower your barriers to information that you don't immediately agree with. Learning isn't always comfortable, and growing isn't always easy. Becoming the people that God is calling us to be can be downright difficult. But if we can embrace that paradox, if we can push past our biases and be open to the unexpected, we might just find the very wisdom we need is waiting on the other side of that learning.